I have a 2006 Jetta TDI. The camshaft position sensor was not working. The vehicle takes a while to start. It just goes round, 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 and then finally kicks in, starts. Um, so this is the sensor harness here for the camshaft position sensor. Um, these three wires here are a ground, a five volt, and the signal. And I put a multimeter on here just to check, and I was getting like between five volts and signal or something. I don't know. Two of them were working. I was seeing voltage. One of them wasn't. So I pulled everything apart. I took off the air filter. I took off the battery, the battery box, just to look at where this harness goes all through here. And then I went further and I took off this panel, took off the windshield wipers, pulled out the engine ECU, which is right up here. These are the two connectors which are connected into the engine ECU. Uh, this smaller one here, I guess 60 pin, it's got the um, three wires going to it. Um, I, my, I wasn't sure what was wrong. I didn't have to do all this work because I found reading on a forum that the loom, this, this is very hard now. It's not soft like it maybe once was. They said that the majority of the problems are often either underneath here, and I don't see any issues underneath where the battery sits um, or under there. I didn't read anything about under here. They did say something about right on this corner here, maybe an issue, but they said mainly where the loom runs through this harness here, that could be an issue. So I pulled the loom off, pulled off this. I don't know if it was once electrical tape. I already found one broken wire in here. So here's this wire here is broken. Now I'm looking for the wire, wire which I wasn't getting anything to is this um, green purple. I don't think this is green purple, is it? It makes sense it was. Yeah, I think it is. So this wire is broken right here. So maybe if I repair that, that'll be uh, that'll solve this problem. And I'll check the others. I did see some chafing on some of these wires. So I'll rewrap them with, I guess, electrical tape and then put on a new piece of loom. And I'll wrap it better with electrical tape so that there's not um, places where the loom is touching the wires. Um, there's here on the, for the injectors, somebody else has already run a new wire over here. I don't know where exactly that's going, but so there must be another broken wire in this harness as well somewhere and they just resort to that and that's what I was gonna do I was gonna resort to just cutting it here cutting it up here if I pull this tape back um, but I'm not gonna do that I don't think because I'll just fix it here I'll plug this in temporarily and see how it starts um, I don't know somebody else is obviously in here in my car because there's these little caps on here which once you cut the zip tie they just slide out so this one's missing. So somebody else has already been in here, done some work here, I guess. So yeah, I'll be doing about the same thing, fixing this wire down here. All right, good luck with whatever you're trying to fix since you found this video. I cut back this wire on each end, the original till I got to nice clean copper, cut a new piece of wire, soldered it in, and then I've got some long adhesive lined heat shrink tubing which I'm gonna slide over each joint and then solder I mean heat heat shrink down so yeah hopefully this is good I had I read discussions on forums about soldering and I I don't know just what I'm gonna do hopefully my heat adhesive line heat shrink is long enough that moisture doesn't get in there and cause any issues shrunk those now I'm just looking at some of their wires here so you can see how that loom has worn this wire down I can see copper it's turned green and there is barely a strand of wire connecting this and this is another one of the wires going to the cam position sensor camshaft position sensor so yeah I think I might have to cut that and put in a piece there as well of new wire and then this purple wire here I don't know where it goes but it also is wearing through. I could, well, it's worn through, so I could cut it out and put a new piece in and then heat shrink it. 
uh, or I could just put a piece of electrical tape around it. I might cut it. And then I can see over here this red black wire is also shaping through. So it seems like a spot on this harness that is not very well protected from the loom itself. The rest of it is looking okay. All right, I think we'll go with that and then hopefully I don't find anywhere else that's bad. All right, I put some new electrical tape on there and then I also found some loom, which is much, much, much softer. softer. So look at that, how easily that, it's just like soft, like it doesn't hurt my skin. Whereas this stuff that was originally on there, it's like I can't even bend it. It's so hard and abrasive, like it, I can't even open it up. It's just so stiff. So I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. This is just so nice. New loom installed. Now I just have to put, I don't know what these wires are. Somebody ran some starter wires here. They don't look very nice. They don't really wanna have to deal with them, but maybe I should. Should I put a piece of loom on this as well? I don't know. I guess I put all this back together and hope it works.